Pisces, welcome to your mid-October general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind, to only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. Hi, Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Pisces. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Pisces and cross watchers that energy is fluid. This simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you may feel the roles are flipped or reversed and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation at best. Alright Pisces, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times, and during that time, I just want you to open up your energy. I am, for the purpose of this reading, going to connect to an energy in and around your psyche of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment, whether you are single or in a connection or not. Um, I'm just setting out that as the purpose of this reading. So if you have someone on mind that you kind of want answers from, try to think about them and we'll see who comes forward and why they come forward for your reading. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say about who wants to connect with you in this reading. Um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. I'm going to connect to someone in around your psyche of someone that's romantically interested in you, has romantic, romantic intentions towards you. Like I said, whether you're single or taken, whether you're in a connection with this energy currently or in separation. Let's see who wants to come through, why, and what this means for you guys from now to the end of October. So tell me about this energy surrounding Pisces. I pray for you, my love. Interesting. This feels like someone in separation. This is a little Halloween-y vibe. So yeah, I apologize if it's a little gory or anything. But okay. So generally what I feel here is that this is someone that feels connected to you still telepathically, psychically, emotionally but they don't feel like they can reach out to you right now. So they just send the vibes your way. They send thoughts about you their way. And I think that's when you kind of catching yourself thinking about them, wondering what they're up to and doing. I see the letter E like Eric or Elise, first, middle, last initial can mean something to someone. This person could be coming from a religious background um, that may differ from yours or um, yeah, I'm seeing like a tattoo of like the praying hands type of thing or maybe the last text message you guys sent like someone did like the little like hand prayer thing. Um, I don't know. I feel like they're trying to manifest something here with you Pisces, but they want you to be the first to come forward. There's something about this person's eyebrows <laughs> that are drawing me to um, the picture here. So they may have like very thick eyebrows. Um, they do their eyebrows quite a bit or um, work in that industry maybe. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Tell me more about this energy here for Pisces. What's surrounding Pisces? What is this person? What are they manifesting from Pisces or what is going on with this? Hoping again. Wow. Okay, and here we have a dandelion. So this is like that wishing. Interesting. It's interesting that they have all this energy sending your way, but I feel like they haven't made action or it's like they haven't taken that step forward. 
but it says waiting, expecting, and manifesting. I think they're manifesting you, Pisces. And I don't know how it ended between the two of you, but they're hoping that doesn't defy how you guys move forward because they still think about you a lot. They still have feelings for you. I'll go as far as to say for some of you, they're definitely still in love with you. And I think that that level of love is still very high for them. And that's why they're still holding on to this with you, Pisces. They daydream, fantasize about you. They visualize the two of you being together. And they're really, really hoping for that. Wow. Even if they're with like other people, they if, the, if you came up in their DMs, if you texted them, um, I think they would be way more interested in having that conversation with you and hanging out with you than anyone you may have heard about them hanging out with or seen them hanging out with. All right. What does this person want to say to Pisces? Okay. I wish you would give me a sign. I mean, wish, wish, wish is everywhere. So here's another confirmation of it. They, yeah, I wish you would give me a sign. So again, it's that same energy of I wish Pisces would reach out. I wish Pisces would still show that they're interested in me. They're hoping and manifesting that you come back or that you reach out. And for those that maybe are like, okay, well, I did that. Maybe it's reversal of the roles here. Or it could be like, um, I don't know, at the time you did reach out, maybe things were still kind of not great between the two of you or they felt like still that you needed space but now I think they're realizing if they pushed you away they may have made a mistake and now that's where they're hoping you'll reach out again but I mean fool me once shame on me fool me twice shame on you I think that's how someone is feeling here with this and maybe that's why they haven't made the first move especially if they tried to before and nothing really went anywhere but now it's a whole another story. I feel like they've been more active on your social media or checking your social media a lot more, even if you don't see that, um, you know, I, I, or you're not even that active. I think that may be one of the only ways they can kind of get a glimpse into you and see what you're up to and what you're doing. Even if you haven't posted it a bit, it's like, at least they still follow me, you know, that type of energy. I'm curious about this. Let's get deeper into it. So with the tarot, I'm going to ask how they feel about you right now. What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? What are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Pisces? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? So straight up, we first have a lot of Aquarius energy. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you or this person could have strong Aquarius in your chart. It does not have to be the case. They want to talk. I see that here. Ooh. And this card, the Two of Wands, was in Scorpio's reading in the same exact placement. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio or if you have strong Scorpio in your chart, I suggest checking out the Scorpio reading to see if there's messages for you there. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like this has been going on between the two of you for some time. And someone's a little bit over the repetition or the cycle of it. And I think the only way that someone would be open to this again is if the cycle breaks. We'll get deeper into that. But bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn energy. Yeah, I think someone knows their worth now. I think someone realizes when they gave too much and isn't going to give that same amount and not have anything benefit them. And it's not selfish. It's kind of like, I feel the Queen of Pentacles, when they truly care about someone, they really want to give them their all. And they're loyal and they're dependable and they're there for people. And they provide help, they provide means. But if that goes unmet in any way, you're cut, <laughs> okay? All that flourishment of support, love, resources, trust is just gets cut out. And I think someone's feeling the cut right now. Um, with Queen of Pentacles energy, someone could really like your style, the way you dressed, the way you do your hair, the way you do your makeup if you wear makeup, or like the perfume cologne you wear. Like they view you as husband wife material. And I think that they kind of see that you are a high caliber. You are someone that um, 
you know, almost was a bit out of their league and they kind of maybe know that in some way. And I think in a little bit of a superficial sense, you made them feel a little bit good about themselves for the fact that someone like you was actually giving them the time of day or hitting them up or reaching them out. There could be someone that's about their money, that has their own business, that works really hard, has work as a priority and does very well at their job. Um, they also really like your feet. They always thought they were cute or there was like a foot massage going on. I don't know, but there's something about feet here that I'm seeing very, very clearly. But yeah, I think they miss having you in their life as that type of rock, as that type of consistency that I think some of you guys felt there was nothing in return for that. And that's maybe why you guys went into separation. But they view you as being kind of cold right now, Pisces, which is something they're not used to. So how they feel about you right now is the King of Swords. Aquarius energy. So maybe because, you know, again, they may have tried to reach out before or they just are trying to look at this in an analytical way, maybe think the timing isn't right. They're kind of still strategizing here. They are kind of watching you like a hawk almost, trying to see if there's any sort of loophole of indication that you would be open to this. And they're kind of waiting for that sign. They're kind of hyper- <laughs> analyzing, you know, the previous text messages you sent or the things you may post on your social media or what they heard about what you've been up to, what you're doing, who you're with, hanging out with friends, or maybe they suspect even more. They are trying to gather all the information they can. And, um, you know, some of the things they are finding out does kind of hurt them, but they don't want people to know that. So let's just say if they did hear you went on a date or that, um, you know, you're doing fine. <laughs> I think there's a part of them that is trying to have a very strong poker face, but clearly um, they're not doing that well with it. They're really, really trying to hide their feelings for you, not just with you, but I think with everyone. But I think people see past it. I really do. But generally at the heart of this, I think they want to talk and that's how they feel. They wish they could have that conversation. I think what they see it right now is that they wish they said things differently, that they could take back some of the things they said. Um, but really just talking to you again and seeing if there could be that communication that builds up to something again. This person could work in law enforcement um, or as like a lawyer, a judge, a professor I'm hearing even. How they think about you and think about this situation is the Six of Swords. So Aquarius energy again. Sorry, I have to censor these <laughs> YouTube community guidelines. But um, okay, so thinking about your return. You know, Six of Swords is a lot about movement, but particularly in the mind, in the decisions, in this, you know, communication. Like they envision you reaching out. They are really trying to put their thoughts towards you guys coming forward to have the conversation to reconcile. Now, some of you guys with the Six of Swords could be traveling or have been traveling or have been, you know, away from where you usually stay, maybe wow. kind of trying to visit friends, kind of trying to move around a bit. And I think that that has been on their mind, wondering if you were to go away for good, would you ever come back with would they even have that opportunity? For those of you that are traveling around a lot or even thinking of moving, that's definitely a concern of theirs. But um, more so, yeah, I think they're hoping that you'll be the first to call. You'll be the first to text. You'll be the first to kind of want to have a conversation to move closer to each other again. That's on their mind. I don't know why they're putting it all in you, <laughs> but I think they are. And maybe because they tried before and they felt like it failed. But generally, I think this is the type of person that doesn't want to look desperate or thirsty. So that's why they want the other person to do it first. That's how it feels here. What they like the most about you is the Seven of Wands. So this is Leo energy. Some of you can have Leo rising or Leo moon does not have to be the case. But you guys are tough, tough cookies. I'm kind of hearing almost like you guys 
know when you need to defend yourself. And I think that's something a lot of people like underestimate about Pisces. Like a lot of people stereotype Pisces as being sweet and calm and, um, you know, in the worst way, almost like a doormat. But a lot of Pisceans I know will call you out if you need to be called out. Like, I do feel Pisces at an essence because part of what rules Pisces is Jupiter is very much about the truth and seeking the truth and can't stand when people try to pull some BS. They see right through it clearly. And you're the type of person that is very, very strong in the way that you'll still, even if it's not the popular opinion, you'll still speak your mind and you'll defend yourself with it. I do almost feel like underdog energy here. I don't know why they may view you that way. Maybe you didn't come from much. Maybe you had like a harder childhood than most people, but you made it out and you fight. You fight for what you believe in. You fight for an opportunity. You fight for, you know, putting your best foot forward out there. And I think they really admire that about you, Pisces. Um, someone could be wearing orange right now or orange is someone's favorite color. It could be someone's aura color. But I think... Um, your fierceness or your way of kind of just maybe even for some of you it's like you don't get to that level until you have to or you're put in that spot to but you won't back down and even if you're pushed there I think your ability to kind of come forward and say what you feel and how you feel about it is something that they think is really awesome like you're definitely an independent I'm feeling with the seven of wands energy here and I think that's something that really does attract them to you in that sense. What they don't like about you is the two of wands. Now, interesting, Aries energy. Um, it's a little different than what I felt for Scorpio's reading. I feel with this two of wands energy, you are the type to kind of once you see that maybe something isn't going to be what you thought it was, you may be on to the next pretty quickly. And if they did kind of end things with you or things just eventually kind of ended, they may have felt like you moved on kind of quick. And that may have kind of hurt their feelings in a sense. Like, damn, Pisces already is out with someone or Pisces is, you know, posting on social media, having a good time. Like, do they even care that we're not talking anymore? I think that got them a little riled up and even got them a little jealous or salty here. That it seems like you're kind of on to the next pretty quickly. I think uh, they weren't prepared for that if that's what they've been hearing from other people or that's what they've been seeing on your social media. And you attract attention, can I just say. A lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people want to talk to you, get to know you. And they may have felt like a little territorial over you Pisces because of the amount of attention you'd get they didn't like that at all and I think you being an independent person maybe you guys had some quarrels about that what they like the most about this connection is the nine of swords this is not a card you usually see in a positive placement Gemini energy but I kind of feel like they like the fact that um, the thoughts of you are still very much strong and that they kind of, again, they try to manifest you through visualizations, through thoughts, through daydreams, through fantasies, honestly. And I think with this Nine of Swords here, they kind of, I don't know if this is true or what they're projecting, but they may be kind of sensing that you must be thinking in the same way for the what you guys have experienced, for what you guys have kind of gone through you must also be thinking of them in a way maybe you kind of aren't obviously very apparent or showing in it. But they're kind of hoping that through their constant thoughts of you, it's keeping that energetic cord alive to where you kind of find yourself wondering what they're up to, what they're doing, and the way that they constantly think in regards to you. Now, if that's not so much the case here, then with the Nine of Swords, this person may stress themselves out a lot, may kind of overwhelm themselves, worry a lot. And you could have been a very calming voice for them, which is that Queen of Pentacles vibe that we were kind of touching up on earlier, like that rock, that support. Maybe you heard them out. Maybe you didn't judge them. Maybe you kind of gave them that feeling like, you know, yeah, you're stressed, but everything's going to be okay. 
I think you really, really grounded them, Pisces, especially if this person's the type to kind of get lost in their thoughts or overthink things. And I think you were able to kind of let this person detangle their mind almost. And I think that's something that they always enjoyed through the conversations with you is that you made them less worried. You made them less nervous, less anxious. Just being around you or hearing your voice or hearing your words always had a very strong impact on them. And there's a specific situation you helped them through where they were very worried about, very anxious about, that they still know and owe you and to some degree for being there to help them through it, to calm down, to just, you know, at least be that space for them to open up to. What they don't like about the connection right now is the Eight of Cups. Pisces energy. Some of you could possibly be dealing with another Pisces or someone with strong Pisces in their chart, but the emotional distance, the fact that um, they feel like you are kind of away right now, that emotionally you've kind of disconnected, emotionally you've withdrawn. And that takes a long time for a Piscean to do, especially, you know, I, I kind of view Pisces in a way as being like, in relationships like the gardeners, you know, wanting to water, wanting to nurture and hoping that like the little bud will break through the soil, right? But I think when you see that, you know, what's growing isn't what you wanted or it's taking so long to grow and I'm just keep on trying to nurture this, trying to, you know, feed this energy and it's still nothing's coming about it. I have to give up on it. Like they feel like you gave up. Reasonably so maybe but still they feel some type of way about it. And I think the fact that you haven't reached out or the fact that you haven't responded or haven't you know, shown them a sign makes them wonder if you still care. And that's what really, really bothers them and that's what they don't like about this connection right now, Pisces. They think you don't care anymore. Highest hopes is the Ten of Wands. Sagittarius energy and I say this within apprehension almost because I think they know you guys have been through a lot and there's still a lot more to go through or a lot more to work through but they still want to hold on to this they still think that this is worth trying this is worth holding on I think I uh, again you guys have been through a lot and maybe it's not you know super long but even if it's been a year or a couple years longer than that of knowing each other they think that there's something still worth having this in and worth kind of still hoping that something better will come out of it if we work hard towards it. But I think you kind of feel Pisces or someone here does, whether this is you or Crosswatcher, like how much more work? Because I feel like I did the whole damn thing and you want me to still work on this more? Like someone has to pick up the, the load. Someone has to kind of pick up some of the effort here. And I think that's the only way the person who feels like they got the short end of the stick would see this working. I'm noticing her back dimples here in this picture. So someone may have very noticeable dimples, um, whether that's on their cheeks or like a chin dimple or like a back dimples. Um, I'm even seeing like piercings around the mouth. Maybe someone even has like a dimple piercing. I don't know, obviously not for everyone, but yeah. I kind of feel like they're hoping that, you know, despite everything you guys have been through, that you'll still hold on to this and ultimately see that should you guys try to push through this last bit of needing to work things out, that it will end in the favor of having you and still keeping you in that sense. They're definitely not over this, Pisces, if that's any confirmation for you. Now what's rooting this or I'm sorry, what's they don't, what they fear the most about this connection, but maybe rooting the whole issue here, is the King of Cups in reverse, Scorpio energy. Now, there's different messages for different groups of you. Some of you guys, clearly they are afraid that you just aren't in love with them anymore, you don't care for them anymore, that you don't have feelings towards them anymore, you've fallen out of that place of thinking that there could be something to build here out of love and out of devotion. That's one thing. Um, with this King of Cups in reverse, I wonder if someone, 
This could be some of your fears, Pisces, especially with someone who may have been very passive aggressive or territorial or, um, you know, even in the sense that you want this so badly, yet you're not willing to do anything about it. Like you want to kind of try to control the situation in the way where you want me to do something about it. It feels a little bit like maybe this person, someone's worried about if they can get over their toxicity or get over some of their lower vibrational energy that's so connected to their emotions. Um, you know, whether this person's like emotionally unreasonable or emotionally unavailable, I think that this is kind of what's making someone worry about being back together in this. But I definitely feel that this is all in the perspective of them, which is what the reading is kind of focusing on is... Yeah, they think that the love is gone, that the care is gone, the want for this is gone, and it's a done deal on your end. And that there's not good feelings between the two of you, even if they try to visualize it that way, even if they want it that way. You don't have the same feelings for them. That's what they fear. All right, Pisces. To see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the month, you need to be aware of, know about. We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome, pull some more tarot oracle cards to dive deeper into this. So guys, if you really felt this was your reading, I promise there'll be more answers in the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Pisces, I really hope that this is giving you clarity, understanding about this person's energy, maybe why they're attached to you psychically if you have been feeling it. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.